Fake Guardian News The Real Consequences of Fake News, Clinton Reacts to Flynn's Resignation Elena Cressy Hillary Clinton may not have won the presidency, but she appears to have mastered the delicate art of the subtweet. Late on Monday night, Michael Flynn resigned as U.S. National Security Advisor after leaks suggested he had attempted to cover up discussions about sanctions with the Russian ambassador. Among those reacting to the news was Philip Raines, who worked with Clinton when she was Secretary of State. Philippe Raines, at Philippe Raines. Dear Mike Flynn and Mike Flynn Jr. What goes around comets around. And given your pizza obsession, https slash slash t dot co slash remedio 7 wyjkx xo Philippe February 14, 2017 Clinton herself then picked up on his tweet. Hillary Clinton, at Hillary Clinton. Philippe's got his own way of saying things, but he has a point about the real consequences of fake news. HTTPS slash slash t dot co slash a zero two cf. February 14, 2017. Reigns refers to the Pizzagate conspiracy, which falsely accused Washington pizza shop Comet Ping Pong of being the center of a child sex ring involving leading Democrats. When he was nominated as Trump's national security adviser, Flynn was found by CNN to have shared fake news and interacted with members of the so-called alt-right. Will Jordan, at William Jordan. That near shooting in Washington, D.C. was inspired by a conspiracy theory advanced by Mike Flynn HTTPS slash slash t dot co slash pic dot twitter dot com slash three dot so nx. December 4, 2016. His son, Michael Flynn Jr., lost his job on Trump's transition team after helping to spread the number Pete Saget conspiracy. In a now-deleted tweet, he wrote, Until number Pete Saget proven to be false, it'll remain a story. The left seems to forget number Podesta emails and the many coincidences tied to it. While Clinton has not directly called out Trump on Twitter, at least by name, she or whoever runs her account has shown a knack for tweeting a pointed message at the right moment. Last week, after Trump tweeted angrily about a judicial decision to uphold a temporary restraining order on his controversial travel ban, she sent a simple message.